Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm gonna to give you guys a six month update on my Travax Trek. And not only that, I'm gonna show you guys the differences between the Kickstarter version, which I have right here, and the retail version. Let's check it out. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Trayvax track, I did a review on this about six months ago. So the review I did was pre-retail launch because I helped kickstart this knife. So at that time, I wasn't sure if anything was gonna change between the Kickstarter version and their actual retail release. And one thing I definitely didn't know was what was gonna change on the knife, if anything, and how much it was gonna cost. So yes, in the past six months, I've used this maybe about four times on jobs. I'm not really a huge fixed blade guy. I usually carry folding knives. But as a fixed blade, I'd say this could definitely be carried as an EDC. And that's what they market it as, a fixed blade EDC knife. Now you can't really tell because there's not much damage on this blade. It's just the nature of the knife, especially with these ridges on the blade. So if I had any scuff marks or anything like that, you wouldn't be able to see it. But my sheath is definitely a little bit more banged up than the knife itself. But overall, not that bad at all. And right here, this is the box the Kickstarter version came in. And as you can tell, it's a big difference from the retail release. On the back of it, we have some illustrations, let you guys know what everything is, and something very similar on the back of the retail box. One thing I forgot to show you guys when I did the video was, and I didn't even see it until now, right here, this is the sticker that lets you guys know who exactly built your knife. It was machined by Max B and Colin W, metal finishing by Blake M and Elliot M, and the sheath was made by Katana, yes. Mark A and Alex A. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people had their hands in making this bad boy. And if you guys wanna see that review, I'll put a link below in my description box, but if you didn't see it, let's run over a few things. All right, so let's talk dimensions. This knife has a length of 7.875 inches and has a blade length of three and a half inches, and it weighs roughly 72 grams. And just like all Trayvax products, it is made and sourced right here in the USA. And it does have Trayvax's famous 65 year warranty. The new retail version has two combo sheets, either a left or a right combo sheath. When I bought this on Kickstarter, you had a choice of either 440C steel or S35VN. So this bad boy right here is S35VN. And as you can see, it's made from a single piece of S35VN steel, skeletonized frame, on the back here, we have our glass breaker. We have some nice jimping right here on the top, 40 degree angle tip. There's a condensed belly right here, a nice swept edge. And I absolutely love the shape of this blade. If I remember correctly, in my review, I called it very, very Tonto-esque, which it is. All right, so let's get into the differences between the Kickstarter version that I bought about six months ago and the new retail release. And if I hold these up side by side, you can tell the differences aren't very slight in the sheath options other than the color. You can see the strap right there has changed a little bit. Um, basically everything else looks the same, except on the back here, the piece where you thread your belt through. They didn't make it shorter, which it looks is kind of an optical illusion, but they just moved it up a little bit. So if I sit the flat side down right there, you can see what I'm talking about. But I'll talk a little bit more about the sheath a little bit later on. So let's take these out and take a look at the knives themselves. All right, so let's give you guys a nice side-by-side -side comparison here. So basically, they're exactly the same except for one slight difference. If I hold them together, show you they're exactly the same size. I mean, if I hold them together like this, you couldn't even tell I'm holding two knives, but yeah, there's two knives there. The made in the USA right there is in the same spot. S35 VN steel stamp right in the same spot. Flip it around to the other side, and yeah, we have our Trayvax stamp. No difference at all. So the one big difference they made, this is the Kickstarter version. And in my review, I said the only thing that I had a concern with was these little machined edges on the blade. On the Kickstarter version here, they're really, really fine ridges. And I said if I did have a dislike, it would be that because when you're cutting rope or cardboard, little bits of fiber seem to get caught in those ridges. So let's take a look at the retail version right here. And as you can see, 
those ridges are way more defined. You can see these ridges way easier just because they're way more aggressive. They're spaced apart more. Let me give you guys a nice close up of the two side by side, just a blade. And you can see the ridges on that are just way more aggressive than the Kickstarter version. Now, is that good or bad? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I wasn't really the biggest fan of the ridges in the first place, but do fibers still get caught in these ridges just as easy? Yes, they do. As you can see right now, nothing on the knife. Let's take some paracord and just give it a nice little cut. And yeah, come on, focus. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, there we go. See, just one little cut and things get caught all in those ridges. Now, is that a big deal? No. Is it annoying constantly having to clean my blade off? Yeah, you betcha. And then just to show you real quick, let me do the Kickstarter trek. And wow, nothing at all on either side. So that's not to say it wouldn't get caught in the blade because they definitely do. Um, when I first got this knife, I was constantly cleaning it. Let me cut another piece here. So let me just cut it again and boom yeah just a little bit right there not too bad but you guys see what i'm talking about if i did have a dislike it would be those ridges all right so next the other thing that i didn't like about the kickstarter version was the sheath strap right here all right so you can see their design choice here we have this piece of leather with the snap so when the blade goes in it locks right around the handle and snap it in and holds it shut. But my concern was every time you open it and take the blade out, the blade rubs against that little strap over and over again. So eventually, it's just gonna saw right through it. So I was super happy to find out that they fixed it on the retail release. So once again, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like side by side here. So you can see what they did with this new strap. So they put another little piece of leather right there on top of the strap. So when it's open, it stays open. So I love that choice. As you can see here on the Kickstarter sheath, it just wants to snap back because there's nothing right there holding it open. Plus they made it go diagonal instead of straight across right here. So that's another great choice. So when, let's put the knife back in. So as you can see here, when I open the sheath, it does not rub against it as much. But as you can tell right there, it is still catching that little corner. But that's not nearly as bad as this cutting over and over again that full piece of leather. So overall, I think it's an improvement on their retail sheath. And then talking about the part where you thread your belt through, I like the design choice of moving it up a little bit. It looks like it's more center than the version here that's more towards the blade. So as you can see here, yeah, it's more center on this one. This one's more towards the blade. And as I mentioned before, this is the sleeve that came in the Kickstarter version over the box. And you can see the 440C and S35VN option. And then also you had a choice between combo vertical and combo left. With the retail version, it's just an S35VN. There's no more 440C. And also it's just a combo left, combo right. No more of these options. And another thing I tried in my review was the Trayvax Trek is perfectly balanced right here at the index finger notch and I got it to stay perfectly balanced but instead I used a pen so let's take that pen and try it again there we go so let me try it with the retail version let me see if I can get it to stay just as easy uh oh yes there we go and don't fall all right, so there we go. So I have it a little bit crooked, but as you can see, it's still balanced pretty well. And that might not seem like a big deal to you, but having that balance point right dead center where your index finger lies, it makes all the difference in the world because when you're holding it right there, it just seems weightless using it. And it looks like they changed nothing from the Kickstarter to the retail version. But in the last six months, I'm definitely not regretting my purchase of the Trayvax Trek. If there's a time where I need a fixed blade over a folder, this is the knife I'm reaching for. And because of these skeletonized handles, it's super lightweight. I just love using this when I need it. And plus it just looks cool. I mean, come on, check out the shape of this knife.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Trayvax Trek? Let me know in the comments below if you guys helped kickstart this project or if you guys actually purchased one of the retail versions. Even though I didn't know the price when I reviewed the Kickstarter version, right now, the Trayvax Trek is going for $169.99 on Trayvax's website. And as I said before, you can choose either the right combo or the left combo sheath. And I will have a link below in my description box to take you right to the Trayvax website. Also, I do have a special code just for my subscribers. It's crispy10. Enter that code at checkout and you get 10% off your purchase. And guys, I just want to mention it's crispy with an H, not C-R-I-S-P-Y. It's crispy, like the name Chris. It's my name. So make sure you put in C-H-R-I-S-P-Y 10 to get your discount. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!